my pleasure to introduce the class of 2015's valedictorian and salutatorian at this time. This year's salutatorian is Riley Pfeiffer. She is the daughter of Ed and Wendy Pfeiffer. Riley will be attending Indiana University in the fall. She will be majoring in nursing. Riley's goal is to become a pediatric nurse. Congratulations, Riley. This year's valedictorian is Covenant Lingenfelter. She's the daughter of Lyle and Kana Lingenfelter. Covenant will be attending Indiana University in the fall and will study arts management with an emphasis on anthropology and theater arts. Covenant's goal is to receive her master's degree in arts administration. Congratulations, Covenant. Okay, 982,800. That's the number of minutes that we spent together in school since the first day of kindergarten. Some of us have been with each other from the very beginning and others have come and gone throughout that time. But over the last 13 years of our lives, we've had front row seats to each other's sporting events, concerts, plays, and classroom presentations. We've stood side by side as we played games during recess with each other during elementary school and went through the awkward stages of middle school. And now here we are. In just a few moments, we'll no longer be students of Rochester Community Schools. We'll just have the memories of one. Memories that were made every day throughout those 982,800 minutes. The most important lesson I learned this year deals with time. How do we measure the time we spent in high school? When we were first starting out as freshmen, we probably measured it in the time of a single class period. And then as days turned into weeks and weeks into months, we measured it in semesters and years, counting down to our eventual freedom. And now here we are, our run at RHS is over, and the time has come for us to sit here with one another one last time, like we have so often over the last 13 years, and say goodbye or see you later to the people that have become such a normal part of our everyday life. I thought that writing a speech for graduation would be fairly easy, considering that, like a lot of seniors toward the end of the school year, I had quite a bit of spare time. But when I tried multiple times to sit down and write it, I started thinking about my time in high school. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it's impossible to measure it in class periods, days, weeks, semesters, or years. When I think about all the time we spent here, I no longer envision how long we sat in class waiting for the bell to ring. I see us walking over here from the middle school, meeting our parents to set up our first ever high school schedule at the end of our eighth grade year, thinking that graduation was an eternity away. I picture us standing in the back rows of sporting events as freshmen and the infinite discussions on Fridays and Global. I think of sophomore year ending and being unable to believe that we were only halfway done. I see us all talking about taking the SATs our junior year and cherishing each and every moment we had the privilege of spending in American studies. Instead of remembering our time here by the awful feeling of Monday mornings, I see Lane coughing doing cartwheels down the sideline at basketball games and I hear Vanessa's voice coming on the intercom saying, hello zebras, it's that time of the day again. I see Covenant and Dom on the stage in the auditorium and Jesse and Caleb's artwork in the hallway. Now when I remember my time in high school, I won't think of homework or deadlines, but instead I'll laugh when I still hear Noah's voice debating with anybody about anything, and when I think of Michael almost making us miss our train on the way back from Chicago. <laughs> Actually, it's still too soon. It'll be a while before I laugh about that. If I close my eyes, I can still hear Erica's voice louder than every other student in the hallway and I see Jay and Jacob running down the football field for another touchdown. And then I see us a week ago, finally sitting at our senior breakfast and going through graduation practice and having the water balloon fight on the last day of our high school careers. So despite the fact that we've spent 982,800 minutes in school together, now I feel like my high school time is measured so much differently. It's measured in friendships and relationships, the time that people have invested in me and that I've invested in them. So when all of our specific memories of high school, high school begin to fade, we'll no longer measure the time we spent here in class periods or semesters, but in the time we spent with one another and the friendships, no matter how big or small, that we had the opportunity of experiencing. I feel blessed that when I look back on my high school years, I won't necessarily remember the 982,800 minutes that I spent in Rochester classrooms, 
but that it was with all of you that I got to share those minutes with. So here's to the Rochester High School graduating class of 2015, and let us remember that our time is the most valuable thing in the world, and we're the only ones that get to choose how and with who we spend it. So be proud, do right, treat everyone with respect, be a zebra, and spend your time doing exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. Life's much too short to spend it doing anything else. Thank you.